I'll see when I get there. So this is a drive, as it says in the description, from Port Glasgow, Tesco, Port Glasgow, to Glasgow. You wonder why them beeps are. I've just switched the phone on, so it's all my um, notifications for the past three days going to that phone because I don't normally have that phone on but I need me on the phone so that's the phone that I put over the other side of the car for um, the live feed and I don't think I can have Elvis on I've got Elvis on, on the phone uh -huh. but I don't think I can have him on there so it might get blocked Instagram might block my video so I'll have to I'll have to either sing or um, or, I'll get, or it'll get blocked anyway I'm not going to say much because I'm not a talker I'm a lover, not a fighter. No, that's that's uh, that's Michael in um, the girl is mine. No, I'm not singing either. Uh, so I'm just gonna let you watch watch a journey, just in case you are interested. And obviously, I'm not gonna be speeding because I don't speed and um, I don't do dangerous driving, anything like that. And um, this isn't dangerous. I think you're allowed this because I set it off before before I actually started driving. As long as I don't touch it, which I won't, we'll be fine. You can all leave your comments. I can't see them, but I'll see them when I stop. Right, so I'm just going up the um, Greenock Road here. And now um, I can go up to 70 on this one, so but well, there's cars in front of me. I mean, what are they doing? They should have a special lane for Teslas. <laughs> Is there a bike lane? You should make Tesla lanes. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding all. Oh, dear. Anyway, I'm not going to talk. Just enjoy the journey. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? I better to not sing anymore. As you see, there is a Range Rover. Very interesting, my journeys. I'm just going up to see. Um, I'm going out for a meal, actually. I'm going out for a meal with a friend. Yes, I do have a friend. Believe it or not, I've got a friend. Yes. I'm just going out for a meal with a friend. Oh, and he's bringing his missus. Oh, and I'm bringing mine as well. <laughs> Why did he come in? Why did he come in this lane? I don't know. Maybe he's going round the roundabout. Maybe that's what he's doing. If he's not going round the roundabout, I have no idea why he come round this lane. Oh, oh, oh! There he goes. Well done. Well done. Right. I've only got a uh, thirty-two percent left of my battery, which is equivalent of ninety-nine miles, which is a real equivalent of about. 70 miles but I'm going to go to Glasgow which is uh, let's see how many miles it is from here uh, it is I'm not touching my screen eight just over eight mile now I'm putting an autopilot now so what you're seeing now is a car driving itself so I'm not braking I'm not steering, I'm not accelerating. I am holding the steering wheel, just in case. But I trust Tesla more than I trust me, so I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> right, we're going 70 miles an hour exactly. So I've set it to 70. You can set it to what you want. Well, I didn't set it to 70. I actually read the sign 70 and set itself to 70. I can override it a little bit, put it on 75, but I mean, I won't want to do that because that'll be breaking the speed limit. Oh, I'm at 70. <laughs> this is still green at road going past Langbank, the Finiston um, estate. I hope this is a bit different for you rather than my boring vlogs. Even though I've been getting a few viewers lately on my boring vlogs on YouTube. Subscribe and like and all that. Everybody out there, go over to my YouTube channel where I won't be talking again like I'm not talking now. Right, let's, uh, I'm not gonna try and beat this car, but I'm just gonna show you the, show you the, um, the 
acceleration off a roundabout. But I won't be breaking any limits because I won't go above the speed limit. And there's no law to say how fast you can accelerate at the moment. I'm sure one will come in. Before too long, they won't want Tesla's having fun. Come up to a roundabout, three cars here. He needed before he was going to pull out to mine. And let's see how quick it just takes off here. Right, this Tesla take off. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, there's a car in front. I can't do it. Well, I can go up to him. There we, there we go. Wee! Oh, he's away. He's away. There we go. And I'm up to 70. I'll slow down now. Well, I won't. I'll keep 70. <laughs> yes, um, a few people who don't like that who sit in the sit in the passenger seats and uh, when I use the car to its capabilities, <laughs> well, its full capability, I would I'll never use it because I'm not on the German autobahn. I'm on the Glasgow roads. Um, normally, on the motorway in Glasgow, you can only do forty. I mean, it was 50. They put 50 signs up on the new motorway. Well, it's not new anymore, but they put 50 signs up on what was the new motorway some years ago. Uh, so will also overtake me. Well, it would break a limit when it does. So I'll let him overtake. I don't mind. Yes. They put a 50 mile per hour speed limit on the new motorway. The M74. It's not new now, like I say, but it was. Well, he's, he's changed his mind. He's overtaking me. And uh, it was 50. But oh, that would just be temporary for the beginning while everyone gets used to it and all that. No. About, I don't know how many years later, say eight years later, I don't know. It's still 50. It eventually goes up to 60. But it's four lanes at some point. Four lanes, you've got to go 50 mile an hour. You can actually go 70 mile an hour on a, not 70, you go 60 mile an hour on a wee windy country road. But you can only go 50 on a four lane, four three lane um, motorway in Glasgow. Well, it's all Glasgow, actually. As soon as you in Glasgow, the council is it's 50, whatever the road is, well, 50 or less, should I say. It's actually 20 in the city centre now. I think it's more dangerous driving at them speeds. It's crazy. So everyone's trying to, looking for the police and all that, going 50, going, well, they're all going 60, looking for the police, so I'm going 50. And um, it's more dangerous, everybody's looking everywhere, but council are cowards, so whoever make these rules up, I think it was a council, probably was, so it's a stupid one. So 50, I'm waiting for that to go to up to 70, it's a normal motorway speed, but I think I might be dead before that. Well, I won't actually be dead. Well, I will, but it won't happen, that's what I mean. So they put new, uh, I don't know if you can see them from that side, because I've got a camera on the other side, but they put new barriers up here in the middle. Yeah, I love these shiny barriers and worked up some work around the bridge. And they did this. It wasn't Glasgow City Council. It was, um, I don't know, Herefordshire and maybe Clyde or Herefordshire. I'm not sure, but it wasn't Glasgow City Council. And they did this. All this. They've done loads. All this. Quick and the Glasgow City Council fixed a little bit up there. It seems to take forever up there. I don't know what it is. When they close... Here we go, I'm moaning again. I was got cold grumpy this morning because I moaned about flipping roadworks all the time. But they, they close loads of different roadworks. I mean roads and lock roads off and everything all the time. And we have a couple of guys working on it. Why don't they do one at a time with all the guys working on it and girls? And do one at a time and get it all fixed, then on to the next. No, that'll be too that'll be too simple. That that'll be too sensible. No, they just shut them all at the same time. Then if it rains, they go inside because they don't like to get wet. I don't blame the workers. It's the um, it's the people who decide to do it. A bit stupid. Right now, plus um, there's a bit of Charing Cross up near Glasgow. And it's shot for no reason. It's a, it, there's three lanes, one goes to Woodlands, one goes straight up to George Street, wherever it's called, up, uh, up your burial that way, burial road. And there's one that goes to the motorway. And in Charing Cross, there's some cones there, so people can't get in that lane where the M8 is. 
you can go down there, mate, but you've got to go out into the other lane, which is causing absolutely chaos. There's traffic everywhere where nobody's letting anybody in. And people trying to get in when they're not meant to get in and stuff like that. But these, I don't even blame the drivers. It's these cones. I've looked at them cones. They're, they're blocking nothing. Nothing. They can take them away. I actually feel like going out one night and taking them away, but obviously I can't. Plus, there's a pothole there, which are, so there is something there. There's a pothole there, but there's no, that's not a way excuse. I could just fix a pothole and put a bit of their rubbish in stuff they put in, and it'd be all right for two days. So they can fix that. But no, they just left it. It's causing havoc every day. They just don't care. The council people have just been sitting on their bums in a big house, not caring. Idiots. Well, that's that. And um, I think I've finished talking now. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this journey. Thumb down, thumbs down if you don't enjoy my chat. Or just put it in the chat, put it in the comments, like or dislike for my talking. Are uh, you on? So don't mention my singing. So we're coming up to the airport cutoff now. Apparently, the um, there's 40 mile per hour average speed cameras up here. They were there for 12 weeks, so they're doing 12 weeks of work, but that was apparently 18 weeks because they can't count. And uh, they fixed a couple of bridges or something. I don't know what they did. They didn't put new barriers up anyway. I thought they would put new barriers up, like um, back what I showed you. But no, they were shot at the road for another flipping 17 weeks to do that, instead of doing it at the same time. So, um, apparently they're away anyway. Apparently the speed camera's away in one direction and they're going to, they're going to be away in the other direction. Um, overnight tonight. I don't know which direction. Hopefully they'll be away in this direction I'm going. But if they're not, I'll just have to stick to my average 40 instead of the normal speed limit. Oh, we're down to 50 now. 50, because this is a very, very dangerous bend, this one. You've got to go 50 this one. Goodness me. I actually play a game in Glasgow now with the roadworks. I play a game. Um, it's like Super Mario. You've got to dodge all these things. You, you, dead end, you've got to go another way. And, and then there's potholes and then the mushrooms and stuff they're throwing at you from the cars behind and things like that. I play that sort of game. I put the tune on the Mario game. No, that's not Mario. But whatever the tune is, I put that on. And I can do this live because I'm, I'm in my own personal car with no uh, no passengers, nothing, because I'm not working. And who's beeping? Who's beeping? My phone beeps. I don't know who it is. Are you telling me to shut up? Or is that just the first person who has commented? What's this? Oh, my God, this stupid idiot taxi. Flipping taxi drivers, what are they like? Right about how it's a bit round. <laughs> Pulling out like that. Goodness me. What's wrong with the other lane that he was in? Just have to get out of this lane for now. But anyway, I can cope. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go in for a shower. Get all dressed up. I'm going out to Subo. Subo? 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 I don't know what it's called, some pasta place. Pasta. I mean, what's all that about pasta? I don't know. I hope they got macaroni because that's the pasta I like. Apparently, it's on the kids' menu, the macaroni. I'll get two two macaronis from the kids' menu, make it a uh, proper full size macaroni. <laughs> I mean, it's flipping pasta with mushrooms, pasta with flipping aubergines. I don't know. But hopefully, I'll find somebody in the place. I'm sure it'd be nice. I have nice company anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't go out much. Busy working for all my holidays. I've just been talking to a guide, actually. I'm, go I'm going with a guide. It's in Keiko. We're going to back to Thailand in January. And um, Keiko, we decided we'd invite a few friends on meetup, Keiko's meetup. But about 14 people come. They're all women. Yes, so I don't want to spend my 
time in Thailand with 14 nagging women. <laughs> One's it off. <laughs> so um, I've got a guide, northernthailandguides.com or something, I forget. So I've just been talk, talking to, to her. Yes, I've got away with a woman. It's okay, Keiko knows. Um, so she's going to show me around the place up in Chiang Rai and uh, do a circle. There's a circle apparently, a northern circle. I'm going to do the northern circle with her. So she show me around and she's going to be in the vlogs. So a tiger lady in my vlogs on the thumbnail, you know, that'll get me flipping views anyway, won't it? Uh, what you lot are like. So it's all good. So I've been discussing that. Um, Keiko doesn't really want to be in the videos. I don't blame her, I suppose. I don't want to be in them. Yeah, yeah, I do. I just don't know what to say in them. I seem like I'm all right talking here, though. I think I might be getting better at this vlogging stuff. I might, I'll have to just pretend the camera isn't on me. That's what I'll have to do. Pretend the camera's off me when I vlog. But I can't even check my feed, actually. I bet all the, I bet what I'm saying, I bet nobody can even hear me. I bet, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, look. Oh, the camera's are away. I just realised. Woohoo! 64 mile an hour. It used to be 40, uh, 70 weeks. I'm glad they are away because I just noticed they would have been speeding if they were. <laughs> oh, they're still on the other side. That's it. That's okay. If they're going tonight, that'll be okay. This I'm going home tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, to my flat in Greenock tonight. I'm not sure where I'm going to be tonight. It's where my last journey is, I guess. But I've got a dentist tomorrow, so I might, I might just go back. I won't be. I won't be vlogging in a dentist, not like that guy I saw in retired in retired working for you, that was it. He, he went to a dentist in Bangkok uh, and yesterday. I don't know if it was yesterday, but I saw the video yesterday. Yeah. And it, it was all around him with his camera and everything. <laughs> but they accepted him to do that because he's got like a million followers or something. I don't know how many he's got, but he's got a lot more than me. If I go to a dentist with a thousand followers, subscribers. They'll tell me to go away. <laughs> no, I just told him, no, oh, he's creeping over, he's creeping over. See, I'm still on autopilot here, look. I'm not even driving this drive. I could be on my phone. I obviously can't, but, you know. So we're just going past Ibrox um, on our left. I don't know, I don't think you're to see it on that camera because it's not pointed far away enough that way and I can't really show it. Is a highway man checking out the um, oh, we're down to 50 now we're in Glasgow. Yeah, 50 on this boat. Here we go. Checking the council. <laughs> no, he's not checking the council tax. Amy, man, he's checking the, the road tax. That's it. Yeah, I, think he, I think they get all the registration numbers from it and checks if they've got road tax. I don't pay any of that nonsense road tax yet, but I'm sure I will. Just because it's electric car. I mean, my hybrid would have got my hybrid and never paid it, but I ended up paying something like 120. So I'm sure there'll be a charge if it's not already coming. There'll be a charge coming for electric vehicles. And don't let anyone kid you on electric vehicles. Once we can't start um, having to pay, where's he going? <laughs> Must we have to start? Oh, God. So I'm to pay for electric. Same, he's done the same behind me as well. So, same for electric. It's not going to be that cheap. No, because I, um, I charged it. It would have been £33 to charge this car. We're about to pay. Well, I did pay. I went up to Eurocentral and paid. £33 to charge it. And that charges to 320 and that gets you 250 So you get about 700 miles from a car, I think. So if you double 33, that's 500 miles. That's £66, right? I put another bit on it, so that'd be about, I would be about 70, 75 quid. 75 quid to uh, get the equivalent, I think, of a petrol car. I know it's probably about 100 pound now, but you're, you're not saving that much, and that will go up. It won't stay at that price. Government will get hold of it, tax it to hell, and all that. So I think it's actually going to work out dearer in the long run. Oh, look at this idiot. Idiots everywhere. <laughs> it's going to work out dearer. 
to petrol. You heard it here first. Well, you might have heard it somewhere else, but you heard it from me here first. Are you lonesome tonight? You miss me tonight? La 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 tonight. Yes, I don't know the words, luckily for you. I mean, I've listened to it a thousand times, but I still don't know the words. Useless with words. My memory's useless. That's why I've got to do a... Um, if I want to carry on doing um, taxi, private hire, I've got to do a, a test that councillor bought in. But I don't know how much it costs. 500 quid, four 500. I don't know how much it costs. That's irrelevant because I'm not doing it. Because I've got to do this test. It's got, I don't know how many modules, 12 or something. Anyway, my memory is rubbish, as you just saw, because I can't even think of the third line of uh, up tonight. So I'm not going to be able to pass this test. So my memory is rubbish. So they're going to lose one of their best drivers. A driver who turns up for nearly every job. Well, every job. Not nearly every job. A driver who turns up. Let's get in here. And a polite driver and a Tesla driver. They're going to lose me because I've got to do a test and I'm not doing it because I'll fail. Ah, dear. Never mind. I might just join another council who doesn't need the test. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet. I might, I might be a rich, famous blogger in um, Southeast Asia by then. I don't need to do this. What, what day is it? What day is it today? It's Sunday, right? Is it Sunday? What day is it? Yeah, it's Sunday, right? It's Sunday, five o'clock, and we got all this traffic because roadworks. And these roadworks have been here for two years. They're working underneath the bridge. They've been here for two years. It said urgent repairs. I had to sign urgent repairs. But they must have been embarrassed because it was taking so long, these urgent repairs. So I think that's what I've done. <laughs> and now they're beginning another two years. So it's four years and they're strengthening the bridge. Eh, I guess it needs done, but four years. I'm sure if, you, if, if we're in China or Japan or somewhere like that, it'll be done in it'll be four weeks, not four years. It'll be useless. And I'll go down there and, and uh, see what they're doing every now and again. And I already see two guys working. Maybe three, four sometimes, but they're not going like the clappers anyway. They're going like the flipping clangers. A nightmare. At this rate, it won't be four years, it'll be 40 years. Is anyone watching? I can't see. Keep watching until I park so I can see how many are watching. I can put my car on autopilot and have a little look. That would be naughty. All right, let's have a quick look. No, I'm not looking. I have got, uh, I can't see, I can't see how many watching. I can't see how many I've got. Too far away, the phone's too far away. Oh, oh here we go, here we go. He's going there, he's going there. All cars should be um, autopilot like mine and it will be okay because all the cars will be reading each other and everything will be safe, right? Why have they put this in? What are they doing? Was this always here? I can't really remember. It must have always been there. Right. What are these blocks here? I don't even do. Perhaps I wasn't watching it for. <laughs> yeah, do work underneath here. And there was, I remember there's loads of potholes to my right um, when there wasn't any work being done because they never fixed them. They just left. You, you go along a motorway and suddenly. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not actually deep potholes, but loads of wee ones. All, Lumpy and bumpy the road was. I thought, seeing they're closing the road for four years, <laughs> at least. They could fix that a little bit, so it wouldn't be like that. It's around about here. It, it, it wouldn't be like that. Uh, but I bet they open the, if they ever open, <laughs> open it back up, I bet they haven't even fixed it. They wouldn't have thought of that. <sighs> I think that's a cathedral you can see in front of me. I don't know if you can see it actually. It's probably see cones and cars, speed limits. The Necropolis, the Necropolis um, Cemetery, if that's a cathedral, the Necropolis Cemetery, which is my, one of my vlogs on YouTube, is behind it. And that was one of my first vlogs, very interesting. And interesting for me, maybe not for you, but I've never been there before. I don't know if it's a, it, I don't know if it is a cathedral, I think it's too far up. Yeah, it's too far off. Then. 
So we don't, we're almost there. We're almost there. No, oh, I'm not actually going to my. I'm going to go and try and put the car on charge. But let's see if we can get a charging point. Because all these um, non-electric cars park in these bays. It should be okay today because you've got now at the moment because you've got to pay at the moment. It's just, it's in the evening and uh, you've really go watch and you can't really park. Uh, because uh, it's normally BMWs and Audis for some unknown reason. Um, and the odd souped up Fiesta. Yeah. And here's the, um, you want any plastic surgery? That's your place to be. I think the old building needs, the building needs plastic surgery. I don't know what people. It's the state of it. Yeah, me. Is that meant to, well, is that meant to look good? I don't know. <laughs> Neither there. I know I said I wouldn't talk, but I might as well carry on talking now. Dear me. I've talked all the way. Never talked as much. I won't be able to talk to Keiko in again. My voice has been gone. She wants me to speak. I tend to listen to this back. Listen back to this. The guy with a mask on. The odd, you get the odd person wearing a mask. It's normally, um, oh, there's a police. No, it's not. It's an ambulance. Not that I've done anything wrong, but you know, you always think, oh, what have I done? Where's he going? Where's the ambulance going? Is he coming down there? Is he coming down there? I'm not actually sure he stopped behind somebody. <laughs> Damn me. Let him through, for goodness sake. Stupid people. They hear an ambulance and panic, and then they're, they're just sitting in the way at the end. Speaking of stupid people. Oh, no, I never said that. I never said that about cyclists who go through red lights and got one way streets the wrong way and everything else they might be, they might not they look professional cyclists they've got helmets on let's have, have a look see if professionals go through red lights right i'll take that back even the professional cyclists go through red lights there you go there's proof for you and if a car coming hits them coming the other way and be the car's fault then the car the driver will get in trouble it's not really but that's that's what they would say. There's the ambulance in front of us. There's a cyclist now on the pavement. Maybe they're not professional. I don't know. There's another ambulance coming. There's not going to be in the way if there is. I can't see any. Got my phone beeping again. I'm going to do a... Do a vlog of that clock tower. See that clock tower in front? It's called. Um... <laughs> See, I, I told you my memory's rubbish. I did study about this. I can tell you when I go in it. I can't even remember the name. <laughs> a bit useless. Right, let's go. They're too slow. I can get over here with my car. Don't do that, girls or boys. <laughs> but I didn't do anything wrong. I was just quicker than them. I never broke the limit. Honest. All right, so we're going down here. We're going to try and put the car on charge. I'm going to look at the phone and say goodbye once I get there and see if anybody's been watching, see if this the actual stream's even been going or if I've just been wasting my breath. Oh, look at that lovely dog. You can see Hug Me Dog Cafe in my vlogs. It's very nice. Lovely dogs on YouTube. Did I mention I've got a YouTube channel, The Baldy Vlogger? I'm not sure I did. Go over there and have a check it out. Mr. Oldham Bagrops would say, check it out. Well, they will say it, don't they? But he was one of the last ones I watched who said it. Yes, yeah, so we're going through um, Hutchinson Street here onto Wilson Street where I can find the chargers if I can find one. I can hear ambulances say, oh, no charge points. Is there any charge points? Uh, no, they're all gone. No charge points. I need to um, need to find another one. I can find another one. There's one in the car park. There's one. Someone who walks behind me when I'm reversing. I wouldn't even know. He's got his flipping headphones on. He's probably got blinkers on. Oh. Right. So this is this is a charging problem. Apart from it, it's going to be as more expensive than petrol. I think in the long run, you can't get anywhere to charge. Well, I will, but not as simple as a petrol station. 
So follow me. Follow me to the next charge point. And I can't see around that corner because those flipping vans are parked on the corner where they're not meant to. And manoeuvre because some idiot parks on the WL is there as well. So oh, these people just don't care. He stopped, parked there, opened his door. BMW, he was in the way of BMW, which was also in the way of me. Oh, there's a green car going, I mean, an electric car. Um, he might be going to find a charging point that I couldn't find. So, a Jeep parts on the pavement there. I don't know where these traffic orders are during the day. They seem to be around when I parked somewhere. I'm actually allowed to park, <laughs> but they think I'm not. But they don't seem to be around when they should be. That was a wee shortcut, so you don't have to um, go through that set of traffic lights. I better not tell that to everybody else, so it won't be a shortcut anymore. Will it? Everybody will be going through them. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the um, the car park around here. They've got charge points. Park the car in there, charge your car, go for a meal, and come back out. I'm going to stop this just before I get in the car park because there's no reception in the car park. Which means I won't be able to stop it. I'll be able to stop automatic, won't it? But I won't be able to um, look to see if anyone's actually watched me or heard me. So let me know now in the comments. Did you hear me? Did you enjoy that? Let me know now before I park the car. Yeah, so now we're at traffic lights. Traffic lights in Glasgow take forever. People from Glasgow or who visit Glasgow would know this because it's all in a loop normally. So one set goes and another set goes. Then the pedestrian one goes even if there's no one there. You know, like five in the morning, the pedestrian light goes on. Nobody's there. I'm the only car. Nobody anywhere. And they've got to go around the old lot because they put timers on the lights and timers on the pedestrians you don't even have to press a button they don't even put sensors on it's too busy spending all their money on cycle lanes for the for the one week of summer we get here in Glasgow idiots <laughs> have I have I moaned too much <laughs> anyway we're almost there. I've got to say this set of traffic lights now. These, these may be on green when I get there. Maybe. <laughs> and it's not like any other place. You go through one green, you get through them all. No, you go for one green, the next one's red anyway. So. so it's not like other places. You can actually see the one going to green in front, just as you, red in front, just as you set off from the one in green. <laughs> and they say the one in... Les, L, L E Z, the environment meant stuff. Environment stuff. They want um, no emissions and all that, but they purposely put all the traffic lights like that, and everybody stopped using them. Then they're all using emissions, smoke going everywhere. So a bunch of hypocrites as well. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know why he just didn't stay in his lane. That was strange. See, he's not going around here. Flipping Uber drivers. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna pour around there into this little little bay. And she's outside to make a phone call, she can't make one inside. Because no reception. So I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna say hello to you all, then I'm gonna say goodbye. Right, let's see, let's put my glasses on, see if anybody was watching. Alright, it says it says Hang on a minute. Has anybody watched? Anybody watching? I can't even see it. I don't think anybody was watching. Anyway. Oh, they are. Right. Right. I'll just spin it around. Right. Spin it around. What's, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening. There's something going wrong with my phone. Hang on. I don't even know if that worked. Hopefully it works. I can't spin it around. I'll turn the... Oh, it says Alan Gray joined. Right. Cheers, Alan Gray. That's all I can see is you. I hope there was more. 
Um, right, I'm going to spin the phone around actually manually, so it might not be on me properly. And then I'm going to go and I'll read all the comments after. Thank you for watching. And this is me, the Baldy Vlogger. Subscribe. Goodbye. Oh, there we Oh, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. So how many people watch? Oh, just Kieran. Kieran. Let's wave to Kieran.